right, folks. Welcome back. It's spawn time, and we're throwing a float. Here's my setup. Six pound high vis. I've got a Kamel slit slip float, two red beads bump up against the actual bobber stopper, which is way up here. I'm fishing about three foot down on a overcast day. I've got a number seven split shot down there. I keep that about a foot and a half away from a number two hook, and there's my minnow right there. So that's the setup. Basic, back to the childhood. It's a lot of fun. Um, we can catch these fish a lot of different ways. We might even be throwing a curly tail today, but we're gonna start off with the minnow. It's early in the morning. Let's see if we can catch a fish. That's right, folks, we're during the spawn. These fish are in different stages. Not every fish is going to spawn at the same time. So there's a lot of different tactics you can take to catch these fish. Today, folks, we're gonna be doing it all. Curly tails, throwing jigs, live scope, and picking them off structure. The key thing about this structure is it definitely has to be near the spawning grounds. You'll catch fish coming in and going out on those pieces of structure. We're gonna be going through that today. Folks, you're gonna catch a lot of small ones. You're gonna catch a lot of bass, bluegill, during the spawn, this is the best time to take your kids out and fish. Do me a favor, if you like this content, please subscribe. We're about to put some big fish in the boat here on 3 Pound Fishing. Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. Water temperature is sitting around 54, 55 degrees right now. It gets as warm as 58 on the lake if the sun's out, that type of thing. These fish should be up. The sun isn't out, uh, you know, an overcasty day. It's really a good day. We would like a little bit more wind, but. Because we have no wind, we are staying way back. First cast in. Doesn't feel like a very big one, but it's a good start to the day. Yeah. Small little eater. We're gonna let those guys go today. We're gonna save some today for our fish fry, but that's a good start. That's a first, that's a first cast. Bam. So So during this episode, you're going to be jumping back and forth during the decision-making process of where these particular fish are. I start most mornings off shallow, that's what we're doing right here, but as I'm fishing the shallow, I'm spending a lot of time, I'm catching smaller fish, I'm not catching the fish I want, I'm not catching a lot of fish, I decide that they need to be a little deeper and we're, that's when we're going to target the structure that is just outside these spawny beds. I always tell people a good tactic or spawn or any time for that matter is go to the points on a lake um, and different parts of the year is going to dictate which points whether it's going to be a main lake point a, a creek point um, so in the spawn I'm kind of staying on the points that are kind of the secondary points in a creek right now and uh, just because I don't think they're fully committed to the spawn right now there it goes Oh, missed that guy. So, you know, during the spawn, you're gonna go all the way back in those creeks. But during this period, I like to think of the, the, the points just inside of those, uh, those creeks is where I like to focus my energy. There it goes, got him this time. And again, you know, I was fishing a little earlier this morning and this is a small fish. And I, I was catching small fish up front all the time. And uh, that's because it's a red ear. Um, you're going to catch a lot of different fish during the spawn, folks. That, that's one of the fun things about it. I mean, hopefully you find that fun. But um, I've caught bass, bluegill, red ear. I call them minnow killers. So in general, I will usually give the shallow fishing two hours of time 
before I make a decision on whether I need to move out because you never know during the spawn. I mean, they could be grouped up in one spot, not another. You could just be missing, um, you know, where the fish are at. Now, I do try to locate these fish on side imaging, don't get me wrong, but at the end of the day, at the spawn, they could be anywhere and they could be really tucked tight during. Uh, along a weed edge like Egypt has so that's really difficult so it does require time it's always good to have a buddy in your boat because you're actually going to be caught casting twice as much so at the end of the day I give it about two hours and then I start to go deeper if I'm not seeing what I want to see best, this is the best time to come out with your kids you're gonna catch a fish now, I like a minnow, but I can tell you that a cricket works just as well. A cricket, put a wax worm on a, uh, on a jig head, on a jig, put a wax worm on a hook. Wax worms are going to get a lot of bluegill, but crappie like them too. Best fish of the day. Oh, eventually this guy go out the structure and find the fish because they are not up shallow right now folks bam solid fish there i think the big fish right now are still out so we might be doing some of that as well today vertical jigging finding them out there a little deeper I saw that sucker come up. There's our first white of the day. Out here sitting and waiting. Yeah. Wow, good fish there. And all I do is I just keep casting. And usually if there's a fish there, it's not going to take very long for them to go after it. I know some people like to sit back and just, you know, relax. That's everybody's different style. So, yeah, we've got... But I, I let it uh, sit for about 30 seconds. And I might even start reeling it back just a little bit. All that on active captain right there. Now that fish looks bigger than <laughs> it is. Look how small that guy is. But... worked not as fast as I would like it to but my fish got eggs bam don't forget guide service April May come hang out get in the boat it's no joke catching big time fish during the spawn Hey, thanks for joining me today. I appreciate it. Big fish today. We figured it out. They're on brush piles outside these coves. They are not shallow right now, folks. That's a good sized fish right there. So there you go, folks. It doesn't always go as planned. I mean, during the spawn, everybody's thinking, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fish up shallow. But at the end of the day, 
Don't forget about the structure that is just outside of those spawning beds. Because I'm telling you, you're going to find fish that are coming and going and they always will hit those pieces of structure that are right there outside those spawning beds. Folks, today we put some big fish in the boat. We utilized live scope. We literally found them. I struggle when I use live scope and I don't see fish and I'm still casting. So I want to see fish and we put some pigs in the boat because of it. Live scope's a huge factor and I got to use it as much as possible. Great fish. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Tell your friends. Three pound fishing baby and the guide service. We've got available dates in April and May.